Hi guys, it's Paul again from my art tutorial channel, uh, Paul Bembo Art. Uh, hope you're well. It's Easter Sunday today. So the theme today is uh, rabbits for Easter. But I was thinking about Bugs Bunny, uh, and then I was thinking about Peter Rabbit. But I'm going to actually choose one from the film Secret Life of Pets. So I'm going to um, go through a very simple version of Snowball. But we're going to do it as um, as a superhero version of Snowball. He dresses up. He gets dressed up by his uh, by his owner. Uh, I'm going to put a little message in the middle here. Happy Easter! I think he normally normally says well, with great res uh, with great power comes great adorability. But I'm going to change it to Happy Easter. I think I'm going to draw it, draw a snowball on the top of Michelangelo's head here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with the feet. So I'm going to draw the feet um, like this. Okay. And the feet are going to be stood on top of Michelangelo. All right. Um, so we'll draw one foot like this, and then the other foot, which is like yellowy and gold at the back, kind of dark goldish colour. Um, we're going to go out with this bunny's leg right to there. Okay, we're going to do the same on this side. So it's got stumpy little bunny legs. Okay, like that. All right, then we need to get a ruler. Um, so I've just got this little ruler here. Because um, you want to draw... Um, you're going to be drawing a little bit of a placard he's holding up. Right, you want to try and get this as straight as you can. Okay, so that's the kind of size. He's actually got it round his neck. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Um, now across the top, we're just going to do a really fine line because we're going to rub this out at some point. Okay, um, so that's all we need to do for that uh, rectangle. Okay, uh, and then you're just filling in the, the spaces now. So we've got a little bit of blue here. Um, the shoe comes in a little bit there and then we've got the blue there and he's actually got um, gold or yellow underneath um, here okay so that's like his the bottom of his uh, bottom okay so round here we've got one little arm hand should I say not arm but bunny's hand same again on this side, okay, about that size, all right, then he's got a little gold collar around his wrist, okay, um, and then we're on to his outfit, so we'll curve this round to there, and then this goes up to an elbow and across to his shoulder, okay. Um, same with this, all right, um, and then we've got we've got his fluffy bunny head. This goes like this, okay, and it goes up. So I'm just gonna do where his furry face would be. I'm just gonna take this round. Just doing it really light because I want to probably rub it out. Um, okay, and his face. Goes up to a nose, which is about that size, and up again. Okay, so um, what we want to do is um, make sure that um, we do this at a slight angle. Okay, because so, he's he's looking a little bit angular here. So right up. Uh, in this kind of fashion, okay, this kind of shape, goes up and over, like that, okay, and we're going to bring some, um, we'll do a pen around the outside of this, now his ear, this ear, goes right over, but then you've got a big floppy bit of his ear that you need to bring up and round, okay. So big curve on this, 
and it attaches back to his head there. Now the next one is going to go behind Kevin, uh, the bird from up, from Pixar's up. So it's going to just disappear around the back of here. All right. Um, so that's that's all we need to do with this here, because it's going to be lost in this behind this fur here. Um, and then we've simply got um, we've got a a gold like a, a neckerchief like if he was in the scouts because um, he turns into this little superhero bunny and he pretends he's um, he can fight everybody because that's the yeah uh, uh, in the film he's not as uh, not as strong as you think what he thinks okay so we're going to do this kind of effect all right there we are um just gonna i'm just gonna rub this section out again and start again because i don't like how that looked um so we've got the neckerchief there and then we simply want one line going up here okay we're gonna have the, the bunny's head here Okay, now, his nose is simply going to be this shape, okay? That's the kind of nose that we want, a bit of a curve at the bottom there. Okay, uh, and then his mouth um, is classic bunny with his teeth out. Okay, um, he's got one line down there. Now, from his nose, just short of his nose, that's what you're going to do. And then he's got two big teeth and they connected like that. All right, um, so that's that's what we're going to do. That's 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 how it should look. Okay, um, his head's quite curved at the top. Okay, because he's got this outfit on. Now with the outfit, this is where you've got to be a little bit careful. Let's get the eyes in first. Okay, he's got his outfit is triangular like this. All right, but it goes, goes down like this. It's got a mask on, basically. And this is what it looks like, okay, in the film. So his eyes come down here and they go round there like this, okay. Um, and from the top, it's down and round. Okay, so that's what it should kind of look like. And then curve here like this it almost goes straight down here all right now um, we'll put a little bit of black in there now he, he won't this looks a bit strange at the moment but as soon as you put the color in you'll, you'll that'll make sense and down here we've got um, a line down here okay and we've got a triangle of gold like that, all right. Um, and then out of the back of him, he's got a, he's got his tail, which is again white and fluffy. But then we've got a gold uh, from the top of his shoulder. We've got a gold um, cape coming out. So that simply does this. There's another line here. It goes up to about here. It curves round. Okay, just using a reference photo from one of the posters of the film here to uh, base my drawing off. Okay, uh, there's so many pieces of art on online about uh, snowball here, uh, and that's it really. We've just got a couple more bits of wire where we'll draw a piece of wire coming down like this, or go underneath his head uh, with a hole like that. Okay and another piece of wire about the same and that comes down like this now the reason why I've done this nice and light in this area is so you can rub 
the lines out that you are not needing, okay? Um, so we'll keep that line in there and that line there, but then the lines have disappeared on his neckerchief there. Okay, uh, and then you can just draw them in a little bit darker now if you wanted to. Okay, then we've got that square, that rectangle there. Okay, and don't forget in, in the middle here, I've got another one there. So I'm going to write Happy Easter in there in a minute. So um, you've got a couple of options here with the, with the colouring. Um, I'd go darker first, so we're going to go with the blue, because we've got a blue outfit on. Uh, but I don't really want to go too dark at the moment, so I'm going to try and see how this looks. Okay, so we're going to go dark edge here, darkish blue. Well, it's kind of a mid mid blue. This is okay. Uh, up and over the top of this ear he, here. Okay. Then you have a darker section here. So this section here is going to be darker. Okay. Uh, and it's we're going to carry on with this dark line there. So all that top section is going to be much lighter. Okay. Um, and then the dark carries on down here. So what we want to do is so it looks like a flap his ear flapping over so this would be like the inside of his ear if he hasn't got the outfit on we'll do that darker and then we're going to do this section darker as well okay um now i'm not sure most of my art i haven't gone round kevin here but i've gone round every other character i'm not sure i'm going to with him actually so we'll just get a lighter blue so it's like a sky blue coming in now above Okay, to show that there's a bit of uh, difference between the light and the dark. All right, try and stay inside the lines if you can. And then a lighter blue through here, but nice and solid so you can't see any white, okay? Um, and we're gonna go to the top of the head there. Okay, so now what you want is a lighter section above this eyebrow, if you like, above his mask. A lighter section here. Alright, um, sounding like it from Somerset, and I said, alright, um, and a bit lighter around here, okay, nice and solid again, eyebrow, around the back of his eye, well above his eye, where his eyebrow would be, I suppose, um, he's got this outfit on though, so you can't really see his eyebrows, so you can't see them at all, uh, and then we're going to go darker in here, darker blue in here um, and we're going to um, <clears throat> we're going to do a line of gold if we can um, in this area here okay so you can see where his mask is all right and the gold goes all the way across now I'm using a gold colored pencil crayon if you haven't got that you could use a yellow or a yellowy brown I suppose um, so don't worry too much if you haven't got gold. Um, that's the kind of um, colour we're looking at. Let's just bring that across here instead. There we are. So, um, so you want this darker, darker blue again here now. If you can in here behind his eye. All right. Um, so we get this darker blue going on. Got the mask. It's coming on nicely now. Okay, darker blue here across his head. Much darker blue here. If you want to, if you want to mix it in, you can. Okay, and a little bit darker going up this outside edge like that. Okay, um, and that's coming on really well now. Let's see, darker blue down the back back of this here. Okay, keep it some lighter and darker sections if you can. Um, going to go much darker on this side of the V, much darker on this side of the V. Okay, um, and then we're going to get a streak of dark down there. Okay, uh, again on this side, if you can, just to show your definition around the outside of his body, that, that side of his head, um, that's what we're doing, um, and then. Dark across the top of the V. 
Okay, darker here on the inside of the V. And you want to leave a little bit of light space there at the top so you can bring your lighter blue in now into the gap. All right. Keep that V there at the bottom, the gold V if you can. And then this section at the top is going to be gold. Okay. And then across the top of this here, just got a little bit of light coming through. Okay. Uh, but most of this is dark. Okay. So we're going to just avoid Kevin's uh, really bright, um, tiny wing here that we've done on a previous tutorial. But we're going to get Gonna this this is gonna be darker here, so you can see Kevin's it's almost blending in here with this here, and we don't really want that, so we'll try and get that darker there. So you can see it's gone behind the the bird. Okay, so I might also do a little bit of black on that actually in a minute, or really dark blue. I think I might darken that section up just under here, so I've got it even darker darker blue here okay so we're just going to go even darker rather than black okay that's it around there and again blow if you can blow you blow it away don't um don't smudge with your hand okay you don't want to be doing that at the moment okay uh, back to the gold a little bit of gold across the top here Okay, a little bit of gold there. Keep that gold. That's good. Um, and then we, we may as well carry on with the gold while we've got the gold in our hands. So neckerchief's gold. All right. And leave a bit of white in the middle of this neckerchief if you can. Okay. There we are. Gold there. gold here but keep a little bit of white again on this on this side if you can in the middle um, and then majority of this gold but just leave a little bit of white on the inside and then this side leaving the white on the right hand side of this little uh, this part of his neckerchief okay gold straps okay gold strap um, what you want is um, probably a black hole, so I'm going to go with my fine line, Stabilo fine liner here. I'm just going to probably just do a black hole there and a black hole there, okay. Um, and where else? We've got to go back to the blue again, okay. So get your, your middle colour blue. Um, what we're going to do is Go on the outside edge of this um, with darkest, with kind of the darker of the two blues. You're going to keep your sky blue for a minute and just fill in this gap. So you're going to go around the outside edge of this in darker, and then the inside is going to be lighter. Okay, so swap to the sky blue, get that colour in there. And um, now back to the gold. You want gold for his arms, for his round there of his hands, gold here as well, keep his hands white and then we've got the dark blue, so what I want you to do is leave this light blue here now and you're creating this dark blue section under his neck, there we are, and then lighter blue here, okay, if you can over line there so just be careful of that okay you've got to have your pencil canes cranes are really sharp these aren't sharp enough for this that's this kind of detail okay now inside here um, we've got um, yellow so what you want is is get a, quite a bright yellow now underneath bright yellow he's got a middle section that's kind of between yellow and gold Alright, so we're going to, underneath here, we're going to use this yellow. Use a yellow there. A little bit of yellow in here. Yellow underneath. And yellow here, okay. Uh, and then it's dark. We're going to carry on with dark legs 
Gonna go round this placard. Darkish legs. If you can keep inside the lines here, because we've not got the, we're not using the black around the outside edge. On this one, I don't think. I don't think it'll look right if we do that. Okay, there's one leg. I'll get out of your way in a minute so you can do it. There's the other leg coming in nicely. Make sure you get that curve of his and blow if you can. Blow any excess away. Curve. That's it. Okay. So you can see how it's coming together now. Um, what I'd now do is um, I'd do yellow for the feet. Okay, this part of his foot yellow, this part of his foot yellow. Alright. Um, and you want underneath, you want a bit of dark blue if you can. So where he's touching Michelangelo's head, you want it nice nice and dark blue. Alright. Um, like this. There we go. Um, so uh, next section gold if we can for his cape. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of white in the middle of this cape um, just to show that there's a little bit of um, light and shade. So this, this gold's going across the top and around the outside edge. Okay, and it's down this middle, uh, sorry, this outside edge here. I'm going to leave a little bit of white. So I'm, I'm just lightening this up now. I'm just not pressing as much on my pencil crane. Okay, just nice and light through that middle section there. And that's all I want to do on that. So this top section, because this is darker, you're going to leave this top edge a little bit lighter. Okay, and then you're going to go dark across the rest of this. All right, but not really dark in the middle. You're just going to keep it. It's going to take a little bit of pressure off the middle section. Okay, you're taking your pressure off. You just feel that your pencil's lifting off the page slightly. Okay, across the middle. All right. There we are. A little bit darker towards his body. There we go. Okay, so that's your... Um, that's the... Uh, we can get rid of that pencil crane, actually. Pe the pencil line. So we just try and draw around that if we can with a nice firm gold, okay? If you haven't, as I say, if you haven't got gold, you can use yellow. You can use a darker yellow, you could use, it's gonna bring a bit of dark on a triangle there. You could use a, an orange, I suppose. It doesn't really matter what color cape he's got. In the film, it is gold. Okay, because it ties him some of the gold bits on his outfit. Okay, and again, nice and, nice and light through this middle section. Just to show there's a little bit of light and a little bit of dark there, okay? So that's that's what we're looking to achieve, okay? A little bit more gold at the bottom here. Just fade it in here, okay? Um, so, yeah, it's almost like a greeny gold colour, that is. Um, so now on to, um, where are we now? We're on to uh, blue, blue and black for his eyes. So now he's got a little dot in his eyes, okay? So what we're going to try and do is, I'm gonna bring the black down here Right, and what we've got to do is leave a bit of white space for his shine on his eye there. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay, and then we're going to do the same on this side. All right, um, we're going to leave a little bit of white there. Okay, so that's that's what we're looking to do. Try and get a curve in there rather than a triangle. Okay. Try and get a curve in there if you can. Okay, so that's what we're looking to do, that kind of thing. Um, now, you want the lighter blue, the lighter blue around the outside of his eye now. Okay, there we go. And it's there. Alright, 
and then we're going to leave these sections white. These bits are going to be white. Um, so it's going to go dark blue, almost black, really dark blue under here. Okay, and a dark blue here. And we're going to go a dark blue through this area now. So this is the inside of his mask. All right. So that's what we can almost match the the other side there. Okay, we're going to go blue over the top of his nose. All right, now the darkest blue on this side. And we'll do a little bit of lighter blue on this side here, okay. There we go. So, um, that's his, basically that's his... Um, That's his uh, face done, okay, pretty much done there, all right, um, what we need to possibly do is just darken that up a little bit there, okay, um, and then we've got a, a little bit of um, colour coming in just down here, all right, just to show he's got fur, okay, if you could just do that almost like it looks like a bit of a cloud actually there we go that's a bit better um, and then we're keeping that white so we're now going to go to uh, underneath and a bit of a shadow here underneath this um, mouth okay So I'm going to get for this. I'm going to get a. Um, I'm going to get a pen actually for this, which is a um, a light, um, a light grey. Okay, because I want this to be nice and. I want it to be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Sorry, than underneath the shadow underneath. Okay. I'm going to go around this edge with a pen. Okay, like that. Right, just to show his his teeth. All right. Um, there we go. And then we're going to go back to that silvery um, shade underneath here. You want to try and get a curve in here, if you can. Like that. Okay. Now you want a pink for his nose. All right. A little bit of pink for his nose. Okay, if you can leave a little bit of white, that'd be good. Okay, just to show us a bit of um, light and dark. And then underneath his chin, you want uh, this grey, so you can use a light grey or like a silvery grey. And you want to just show that he's got a bit of shade under here. Okay, and I'm doing it almost like, he looks like he's got a bit of a beard going on actually. Um, you want it nice and loose. Not too dark, okay, not too dark, but obviously pencil crane, not a felt tip, all right. And this is the kind of thing that we're talking about, all right. Um, so he's got, like he's got like fluffy bits of hair coming off here. There we go, I think we're pretty much, uh, pretty much done now, all right. Um, so that is um, our bunny, okay, um, what we could do, um, I mean you possibly could go around this with a, I think I might actually do that, we go, just to show that there's a, a, a bit of shade underneath here, I'm going to go under there with a, with a black fine line, you could do this with a blue if you wanted to, alright, so I'm going to go around, I'm just going to go around, um, the darker bits here, just to tie that, to make that look like it's um, got a bit of shadow underneath, okay, um, and I'm going to get, a, if I can, I'm going to get a black pencil crane, and it's just going to darken up uh, this, this leg under here, okay, and I'm just going to just bring this in with a pencil crane now, just so it doesn't look too harsh. Okay, a little bit of black around here, 
on the blue and a little bit of black underneath on top of that blue but nice and light black you don't want it too heavy okay a bit of a shadow here where his hand comes in okay um, and again a little bit of black at this top end here there we are okay a little bit of black around there um, and that is all we need to do apart from writing happy easter on here okay so we'll just try and do this in um, kind of cartoon um, style like that okay uh, and there you go that is uh, snowball from um secret life of pets one and two and you could do but i think i quite like it like that um and that is about it guys um so speak to you again soon take care